Welcome to WebStyle Press. This is post in WordPress website. Under post, it has got comments area. If we post the comment, page will reload and comment will be posted, such as On a busy website with lots of comments and content, it can be a problem. Reloading page can be a huge problem. Now here I was logged in. This is the same page opened in incognito. Here if I try to post comment without filling form. A new page shows the error. This is also a problem. In this video we will fix this issue. But before that please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Okay, when submitting the comment form, WordPress by default reloads the entire page. In the case of an error, the error message is shown on top of a new screen and the user has to use browser's back button to correct his inputs before posting the comment again. Go back. To fix this issue, go to plugins, add new. Search for WP Ajaxify comments. This plugin hooks into any WordPress theme and adds Ajax functionality to the comment form. When the user submits his comment, this plugin sends the data to the WordPress backend without reloading the entire page. In the case of an error, the plugin shows an overlay containing the error message so that the user can correct his comment without navigating back. If the comment has been posted successfully, the plugin adds the comment to the list of existing comments without leaving the page and shows an information overlay. Moreover, this plugin includes an option to automatically refresh the comments on the current page while the user stays on the page without requiring a page reload. I have installed this plugin WP Ajaxify comments and I can see another plugin Ajaxify WP post comment form. So there might be similar plugins as well. So we will activate this plugin then go to its setting. WP Ajaxify comments is not enabled. Click here to configure the plugin. Enable the plugin. Selectors. Now every theme is different. WordPress themes usually follow theme development guidelines but they still may not have same structure as default WordPress themes. Classes can be different in your theme. This plugin needs to identify comment form area to control it. To do that it needs same classes as WordPress default theme uses. Or you can provide classes for the comment form to make sure that the plugin works as expected. Now this is the form. Right click from the menu, click inspect. It will open up the inspector. So in this inspector you can identify the form. This is the form. It has got a class comment form and ID is AST dash comment form. So here for comment form selector it expects comment form id with this hash you can leave these fields empty if your theme comment form has got this id comment form otherwise you'll have to provide class or id here to make this plugin work so i will need to add class or id here so i'll go back for form i will copy this class for this area and with period I will paste this class here period comment dash form or dot comment dash form period is used for the class name and the hash is used for the ID similarly I will provide a container selector and a respond container selector so for the container selector container is its outer div outer div of form let's choose respond and this is the id so i will use hash here respond container selector here i will use the same id respond now it should be set pop-up overlay settings 
margin, width, padding, fade in time, fade out time, loading text color, background color, success background color. So we can also adjust colors and other style options for the pop-up overlay. Text. We can also adjust text used in error or success messages. I'll keep everything else as is here. Disable URL updating, disable scroll to anchor, use uncompressed scripts. Okay, so I will hit save changes button. Let's try the forms now. Close inspector. I will reload page and then post a comment. Post comment. And now you see posting or comment. Comment has been posted. And here is the new comment. And here is the third comment without reloading the page. So here I have added two more selectors here. So for comments container selector, I don't need respond. Respond container selector is here. But comment container selector will be one of these. Let's see. Comments. Comments. So this is the comment. For comments container selector, you have to select class or ID for this entire area, but not including form. So here ID is comments. So it will work here. I can just skip it because default is already comments ID or comments wrapper. Save changes. Let's try one more time. Reload page. Post comment. And comment was posted and it's updated here shown here without reloading page okay so this was when i was logged in so here we are not logged in reload the page post empty form please fill the required fields cool all right post comment and comment was posted without reloading page and it was also updated here now form is being submitted comment is being posted without reloading entire page form submission and error handling are being done without reloading page and this is exactly what we want you only have to take care of these classes like this class should be for the class that is on the form comment form selector and here comments container selector comments container selector will be any class for this area that has got comments and comment form selector will be class for this area form area Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.